talking about what is perhaps the most controversial economic decision your government has taken, demonetization. Now, it was initially done to tackle counterfeit currency, terror funding, and black money. Later, the Prime Minister added that it would also diminish the quantity of cash in the economy. On practically all those four counts, it hasn't achieved very much. And increasingly, there are people who say, not just that demonetization has failed, but that it was a mistake to begin with. How do you defend demonetization against its I'm critics? I'm just telling you only two things. After GST and after demonetization, the number of taxpayers are increased. The tax we are receiving is increased. The more transparency is there. Now the corruption cases, but can I, there is can also a lot of improvement. Wouldn't those taxpayers anyway have increased? Isn't that just part of the normal secular increase that happens every year? Can you really claim that there was a disproportionate increase because of demonetization? Because of GST, you just take the revenue record. The revenue but GST record. is a different subject. I'm talking about demonetization. I'm telling you, now this is the economic reform of our government. You cannot analyze the, any economic reform on the one year or two year. That reform effect is at least for 8 to 10 years. So demonetization will produce results in 8 or 10 years I am, time? I am telling you the first thing. I know that you will answer me that question, but I will tell you. The, the black money, the way in which was increased in the country, and that the reason that there were a lot of business of the black money. The first time now, the business are being transparent. They are paying taxes. They are making registration. And now it is difficult for them to generate black money. But that is the first thing which we are achieving. Let me pick you up on black money. Because for most people, the success of demonetization will depend upon how much black money you identify. Now, you know that initially the Attorney General told the Supreme Court between 4 and 5 lakh crore would be extinguished. In the end, 16,000 crore is all that didn't come back. Then the Finance Minister has said that 18 lakh bank accounts are under scrutiny. Now, for those bank accounts to be scrutinized, the money to be identified, declared as black means you'll be going through legal processes, it will be contested, the process will go on for not just years but decades. You will not produce any black money before the next elections. You just understand. 18,000 bank accounts which are under scrutiny. 18 lakh. 18 lakh. Now, what is the amount is there? And the black money which was not in the, in the system, now people deposit that money into the system. But you have to prove it's black. It may 100%, be deposited. 100%. But proving it means it will be contested in court. It will go all the way to the Supreme Sir, Court. In a, democracy, take years. in a democracy, this is the method. We don't have any shortcut for that. You have to prove that. But it will take 8, 10 years as you suggested. It could take 15, 20. First of all, the first result is that now people are, there are a lot of alertness is there. Now no one want to do the black money, those, uh, the number two transactions because they are cautious. The government is now taking the stern action. Now, the first thing, the system of black money is now stopped. On large scale, it is stopped.